This is the Fender Mustang Micro headphone amplifier, and in this video we're going to learn how to record it into an iPhone. We'll also show how to record it into an iPad and a computer. Let's start by recording into an iPhone. Here's a quick list of gear we'll need. A Fender Mustang Micro headphone amplifier. An iPhone with a lightning connector. The Apple Camera Connection Kit. A lightning to USB-A cable. A USB-C to USB-A cable. A USB-A power bank. A guitar or a bass. Wired headphones, a quarter inch to quarter inch cable, a female quarter inch to female quarter inch coupler. The trick to recording the Mustang Micro to an iPhone is the Apple Camera Connection Kit. This accessory unlocks certain features in the phone, such as the ability to record audio from an external source. Yes, non Apple branded versions of this accessory can be found online, but not all of them work. For reliability, we're using the official Apple accessory. Use a USB-A to USB-C cable to connect the camera connection kit to the Mustang Micro. USB-A goes into the kit accessory and USB-C goes into the Micro. Since the Micro charges over USB-C, it will pull power from the phone. To avoid any issues, connect an external power source. A wall charger works, but a USB power bank offers more portability. Use a USB-A to lightning cable to connect the camera connection kit to the USB power bank. USB-A goes into the power bank and the lightning connector goes into the camera connection kit. Connect the camera connection kit to the phone via the lightning connector. Now you can connect the Mustang Micro directly to a guitar or a bass via its built-in quarter inch connector. Pro tip, using a coupler allows the Micro to be detached from the instrument and conveniently placed elsewhere. Connect a quarter-inch female to quarter-inch female coupler onto the quarter-inch connector of the Fender Micro. Connect a quarter-inch cable to the other end of the coupler, and connect the other end of the quarter-inch cable into the instrument. A note about audio monitoring. You may be tempted to use Bluetooth headphones. Just know that there's an inherent latency with Bluetooth. Instead, let's monitor directly from the Mustang Micro via its headphone output. Turn on the Mustang Micro. On the iPhone, we can now record into any app that will accept an external audio source. The simplest would be Apple's Voice Memos app. This is a quick and easy way to record an idea or a performance via the Mustang Micro. Open the Voice Memos app. Let's confirm that audio is coming from the Micro and not the built-in microphone. Start a recording on the app and snap your fingers to test the microphone. The recording should be silent. Now play some notes on the instrument and the screen should show the recording. Okay, stop the recording. From here, we can use apps like GarageBand, Cubase LE, or Beatmaker 3 to record guitar or bass as a track in a song. Let's show how to record the Mustang Micro into an iPad. This applies to newer iPads which have USB-C connectors. Here's the list of gear we'll need. A Fender Mustang Micro, an iPad with a USB-C connector, a USB-C to USB-C cable, a guitar or a bass, wired headphones, quarter inch to quarter inch cable, and a quarter inch female to quarter inch female coupler. Connect the Mustang Micro to the iPad via the USB-C to USB-C cable. The iPad can provide enough power to the Micro to negate the need for an external power source. We'll use a coupler like we did before. Connect the coupler to the Micro and then connect a quarter inch cable from the coupler to the instrument. We can connect headphones directly to the Micro to monitor the signal. Turn on the Mustang Micro. Let's again use the Voice Memos app to test the signal. Open the app and start a recording. The built-in mic shouldn't pick up anything, but we should see a signal coming from the instrument when we play notes. Now let's open GarageBand and see how to record into that app. In a project, add a new track and select Audio Recorder, then select Instrument. In the track parameters, make sure that monitoring is on so that we can hear the instrument, and confirm that the input is set to channel 1. We can also set the effects being applied to the recording. Let's set it to a clean signal. Select Fun and then Clean. Let's play some notes and test the signal. We should hear the instrument through the iPad speakers. We can now record the instrument. Now let's show how to record the Fender Mustang Micro into a computer. Here's a list of gear we'll need. A Fender Mustang Micro, a computer with a USB connector, a USB-C to USB-C cable, 
or a USB-A to USB-C cable, depending on your computer, a guitar or a bass, wired headphones, a quarter inch to quarter inch cable, a quarter inch female to quarter inch female coupler. Connect the Mustang Micro to a computer via a USB cable. In this example, we're using an Apple MacBook Air, which has USB-C ports. If your computer doesn't have USB-C ports, like this older MacBook Pro, use a USB-A to USB-C cable to make this connection. We'll use a coupler to make the connection between the Mustang Micro and the instrument via a quarter inch to quarter inch cable. Turn on the Mustang Micro. Let's connect headphones to the computer's headphone output to monitor the signal. In the computer, open a DAW or any software that records audio. In this example, we're using Ableton Live, but the process should be similar with other software. In Ableton, open Preferences and go to Audio. Click on the Audio Input Device dropdown and select Fender Mustang Micro. For the audio output, we could select the computer speakers. Instead, select the computer's headphone output as the output device, and close the Preferences window when finished. Create a new audio track and select the Mustang Micro as the input. Here, it's input 1. Arm the track and turn monitoring on. If we play some notes on the instrument, we should see a response in level on the track's meter, and we can hear it through the headphones. Now we're ready to record. Please like and subscribe if you've learned something. Share this video with a friend, and check out the links below to support this channel. Thanks for watching. Bonus tip add a tuner to the audio track to tune the instrument.